I first of all thank you for joining us and thank you to Reet from CSM Practice for initiating this idea. Uh, we just moved into this office about a week and a half ago. My name's Amelia. I've, I've been with Walk Me for almost three years and this is our third office uh, so it's kind of exciting for us and this is the first party we've held so thank you for being part of it. Uh, so we have a variety of different systems depending on what type of customer data so there's uh, data that flows into a view for customer success managers in a separate software system but data goes through Salesforce uh, we pull data on our customer success managers and our customer development reps um, from Shortel and Frontspin which are our phone systems uh, we also look at email activity through outreach and Salesforce um, we also have cases that get made inside of Service Desk inside of Salesforce. So that's another sort of point of data that we look at. Uh, we use WalkMe to understand uh, how our customers are progressing through different t tutorials. Uh, we use um, Yesware on the email side and also Heap Analytics um, with the tracking code to be able to do an assessment of how people are using our platform and software. We also use WalkMe. It's tremendously helpful in helping us scale. Um, our onboarding and new feature sets um, when we push those into the platform and then we pull it all into Gainsight in Salesforce so that's what we're looking at uh, at a reporting level is pulling that data in and doing assessment and analysis on it. Our customers use WalkMe on their applications so we need to track two things one how their customers leveraging WalkMe and show them the data and this is what you can see here. Um, we can even see like a full session of, of, the, of the users. Um, and we need to track how uh, our customers using WalkMe in order to build those walkthroughs. Um, and we're using WalkMe as well and Heap Analytics as well. Um, and of course, we funnel everything to Salesforce. Um, data by itself does, is not going to drive retention for you. It's not going to drive value for your customer. Um, that human interaction with the customer and your platform is truly what is going to drive retention. I think to your question is when we have high touch customer um, and we don't have all the data points, just how to use the product, we have face to face meeting, we have QBRs, we go, we talk with them, we're like, what's your objective for the year? What, what you need to achieve, what's your KPI, and then if our champion is successful, we are successful. So we're just asking the right questions. And the only thing that was indicative of churn was did the customer as a whole log in one and a half times or more a week? So first we divide the churn to controllable and uncontrollable. Um, for example, we, we sell WalkMe to so many use cases. It can be on your website, on your Salesforce, on your Workday, Success Factor, etc. Let's say someone bought WalkMe uh, to an old CRM and now they're moving to Salesforce. Uh, and they bought Salesforce and the, like, they just get rid of the old system. We have churned by design. We can control it. If company goes broke, we can control it. So we focus on the controllable. And then we divide it, if it's technical reasons, if it's uh, uh, onboarding reasons, etc. And then, of course, we look at each one of the, of the churn reasons and try to improve. I think it's wonderful you have a cost avoidance model, so it's, it can be a little bit easier to calculate the ROI on that. We don't. We're kind of looking at insights, um, competitive set, best practices, so that, it, that becomes much more challenging to generate the, uh, the ROI. We know we're driving it, but a lot of times our customers won't share that with us because it's very proprietary to what they're doing with their mobile strategy. So we tried many times to do health score and we failed. Um, Unfortunately, why? Because we had so many false positive, false negative. Um, what does it mean? The, the usage is down, so it's bad, it's good, we don't really know. So as a developer, uh, we move to a binary system. There is value, there isn't. If there is value, we're good. 